Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to handle the API errors in Angular and also how to handle the errors globally, which is also called global error handling in Angular. Come, let's dive in. On my screen, the application that you're seeing is already in the GitHub. So I've just opened up in the local. So let's say I'm going to create a product, okay? So I'm going to uh, give some inputs to this product and let's see what happens if there is an error, okay? All right, so let's create a product, okay? So I'm gonna give some name and I'm gonna give some description and uh, you know, the service is going to throw some error intentionally. So let's see how we will handle that error, okay? So you see this, as soon as I hit, there's a alert message saying that the error was caught in the global handler and then uh, we can log it the way we wanted to log it, okay? So there is nothing. And then after that message, you see the console, the error has been logged here, okay? Now, there's a piece of code which I'll show you and it'll be easy. You see this? In the core, there is a file called globalexception.ts, okay? So this is the project. So if you go to globalexception.ts, it's basically a class file that implements the error handler. Error handler is from the Angular. You can see that's coming from the Angular core. Okay, so we're gonna uh, implement the error handler and uh, the only method that is available for implementation is handle error, which takes any of a parameter and then here you can examine what is that error is. So here I'm basically putting an alert message and doing a console.log. Ideally in a typical world, you can actually log this information to a backend API or some other messaging system or whatever you wanted to do when there is an exception, okay? And the next thing you have to do is go to this ng model go under the providers and you register this global error handler. Under the providers, you say the provider is error handler and for that use this class. So which means internally it will override and this uh, this class will be uh, taken as the error handling class. And see what I'm doing is under the create product, I'm just for the simplicity, I'm just throwing the error by myself. Okay, uh, but in the real world, if you see uh, this error can be thrown from the uh, API side, it could be 400, it could be 500, any exception that throws from the from the API side also will be caught in the global. And you know, based on the error uh, type in the global handler, you can decide what to do. Okay, so right now what you saw was all uh, being thrown from our side itself because my API is already protected. It's it's hard for me to uh, make it uh, to throw error. So that's why I've simplified this. So this is how uh, we do it, right? There's one more way to handle the errors. Okay, come, let me sh quickly show you how to do that uh, for handling the API errors. Okay, so under the product service, I added a method called handle error that will accept HTTP error response because when you call API, okay, the response that comes in the error is called HTTP error response. Okay, so that accepts such uh, input as the handler and then it is basically determining whether it is an instance of an error event, uh, which means it's a client side issue. Okay, it's not ready from the server side. And if that is the case, we show some part of error message. And if it was not the case, then we show the status that we received from the API and we show the message that is received from the API, okay? And ideally, uh, don't show all these things, basically handle it in a different way. I'm just trying to explain you how it works. And then we re-throw the error, okay? Now, if you see, I've implemented one more method. So basically how you do is, you call the HTTP get method and with the pipe operator, do a tap and then you're examining the data. And then if something goes wrong, it's uh, uh, it goes in the catch error. Catch error is also RxJS property. Okay, so basically uh, the catch error accepts the uh, error handler response. So if you go there, that method will be invoked and then that will be examined and it will show you how to handle it. And uh, yes, so this entire set of coding is present in this uh, exception handling uh, branch and you can go and uh, take it from there. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe my channel, like it, share it, comment it, and never forget to click on the bell icon.